What's up, Gromies? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Now, in today's video, we're going to be making biochar from scratch. So if you enjoy this type of content, share this video with your, with your fellow Gromies and smash that thumbs up button. Now, Terra Preta, otherwise known as biochar, is just a, a soil amendment that they've been using in the Amazon for a very, very long time. Now, what is biochar? Biochar is essentially wood that they've taken, they've burned it down in a low oxygen environment to in turn, you know, take away all of the, the gases and different various things living inside of that wood and in turn making it into a charcoal. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start off with a five gallon bucket and a bag of hardwood lump charcoal. Doesn't matter what brand it is, just make sure that it is non-scented. I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want anything funny going on into this mixture. Now, when you notice, one thing you're gonna notice is when you dump all you know, this, this charcoal into your five gallon bucket, you're gonna have a ton of various different sizes in here, okay? Now, the size pieces that we're gonna be seeking is anywhere from you know, nice little fine pieces of granule all the way up to about one to two inch pieces in diameter. Nothing really larger than that. So you are gonna have to smash this up pretty good. Now what I like to do is go ahead and fill that five gallon bucket up about three quarters of the way full, grab a nice shovel or a weight or something like that and smash this charcoal up a real good bit. Now once we've achieved the size pieces that we want, all you're gonna do then at that point, Gromies, is just mix it up really, really good. Now I will recommend this also is taking a little bit of water, you know, adding that into this mixture to help prevent, you know, as much of this dust and char dust coming up into your lungs as possible. Wear a mask and do this outside. This is not something you wanna do inside. So do please be careful while doing this. Now, once we've got this all smashed up, the next step that we're gonna take is we're gonna go ahead and bring this inside once we've you know dampened this down a little bit to prevent you know all this you know dust coming into the air. And then we're gonna start adding in our amendments. Now the one thing I wanna say, Gromies, is that when you are making your biochar, you can never use too much nutrients. Keep this in mind that when you're charging this char uh, charcoal up, that if you don't charge it enough, that once it goes into your soil, it's gonna suck all the nutrients out of that and it's not gonna do its job that you want to. Biochar is meant to be forever nutrients once you mix it in, okay? So now we've got our mix put together here, and the first thing that I'm going to add in is a ton of earthworm castings. So we started off with three quarters of a bucket of the charcoal. We've smashed that down to about a half a bucket, a half a five gallon bucket. So we've got about two and a half gallons of charcoal. We're going to go ahead and mix in half as much earthworm castings. Now that may seem like a lot of castings to some of us, but keep in mind what we're mixing here is gonna last a long time and it's enough biochar to honestly mix in a whole four by four bed, if not more, maybe even two of them. So you're gonna have a lot. Now after I mix in my earthworm castings, we're gonna get us a gallon of clean water. Clean water, no chlorine, something that has been dechlorinated, Gromies. Do not put any funky tap water in here. You want this to be good, clean water, all right? Now, we're going to add in our water, get this mixture you know, nice and loose, so then that way we can stir it up easily. Now, the next product that we're going to be adding into this biochar mixture is going to be Recharge, the supercharge to this formula. Um, in my opinion, Gromies, this is the most underrated product on the market for growers. I don't care what you're growing, whether it's you know, tomatoes, peppers, uh, medicinal plants, recharge is the way to go. Now, we're going to add in three tablespoons of recharge to this mixture. i um, just going to top it in right here in the top. And again, what we're after in here is all the mycorrhizae. Yes, you have a ton of other benefits with recharge like humic and fulvic acids and molasses, but we're after all that mycorrhizae. Now we're going to go ahead next and add in some of our meat and potatoes to the mixture. Now we're going to use the Roots Organic Uprising Grow. And the reason why we're using Roots Organic is because not only do they have all the meat and potatoes that you want as far as, you know, fish bone meal, langbonite, bat guano, and all those other goodies goes, but they've got all the mycorrhizae and all the beneficial bacteria content in there. Now what we're trying to achieve with this biochar is that we're going to supercharge it with not just, you know, meat and potatoes for NPK, but we're also adding in all of that bacteria and we want it all to colonize in here as this mixture cooks and really bakes together. So we're going to add in three tablespoons of the uprising grow 
then we're going to go on to our terp teas bloom because again this is a full spectrum of nutrients inside of here and it's meant to be a forever nutrient now we're going to take the the new the the roots organic terp tea bloom excuse me and we're going to add in three tablespoons of it as well now yes there is a lot of meat and potatoes in here you've got plenty of cow mag again back guano uh, fish bone meal, crab meal, kelp meal, all the goodies that our plants are going to want, but more importantly, the bacteria. And Gromies, don't cut yourself short on this mixture. You know, if some of you are feeling like the three tablespoons is light, add a little bit more. You really can't overdo it when it comes down to these organic amendments in this mixture. You, you can to a certain extent. Let me backtrack a little bit, but it's pretty hard to do it. You don't want to underdo it though, okay? Now the next thing that we're going to be adding into this mixture is fish fertilizer. And what I want out of this is not the, the NPK value where we've got a ton of nitrogen. What I'm after is all the, you know, the amino acids and the, the different enzymes that we get out of this fish fertilizer to help break a lot of this down and also the microbes. There's a ton of microbes in fish fertilizer and I really think people overlook that. Then we're going to move on to the Bush Doctor from Fox Farm. This, in, in my opinion, Gromies, has more bacteria in it than any product out. Recharge is its second runner-up. It's got, you know, humic and fulvics and all those other things. As far as a well-rounded product goes, Recharge crushes it. But this right here is the mac daddy when it comes to mycorrhizae and, and bacteria. It's just got it all. Not only does it have it all, it's got a good bit of it in, in there, and it's also rather cheap. Now, for this mixture, what I'm going to be adding in here is 25 mLs of this bush doctor that's it that's all we're going to be adding in here okay now once we get all of those you know mixed up in there you're going to have a, a nice uh, stinky slush in there honestly it's going to you know really stink it's not going to smell good so don't put this in a room where you know your wife or somebody's going to complain about the smell of it um, you're going to mix all of this together now as we mix all of this together you want to make sure that you're getting it mixed evenly and thoroughly because what we're going to do after we mix all of this in and you you may have to add in a little bit of water if it is too thick keep in mind you do want it to have a little bit of, uh, of looseness to it because we are going to be aerating it to cook and let all this bacteria grow and multiply in here um, but just keep in mind that you want this to be a little bit you know uh, loose so then that way it can you know breathe when you do put an air stone in there um, as far as what you're looking for, it's just going to be like when you're brewing a tea. You're going to notice that not only does the, the bubbles and the foam head start to come along, but it's, it's going to start to look alive. And as, as weird as that sounds to say that, you'll notice that even with the air stone out of it, it's still going to be making the sounds that it would be if the stones were in there. It's going to have oxygen and life into it. Um, so it's, it's an amazing product and it's really neat to see the process of how it's made. Now, once you're done, you're going to have a nice gooey slush in there. And it's again, it's going to start to foam and it's going to build up and you're going to be able to see it. And like here in the, in the video, it looks alive. You can see it's bubbling. Yes, that's because of the air stones. But if those, if that layer of charcoal wasn't on the top right there, it would be covered in foam. So Allow it to brew, aerate and brew, and as far as the time frame goes, give it a minimum of 48 hours. I always go for at least 48 hours. Now, what I like to do after this point is I'm just going to simply take this trash can. I put it into a 10-gallon trash can. I'm going to put the lid on this, and I'm going to put it inside of a sealed room that's nice and warm, my garage, for example, for the next week and let this dry out. Now, another thing that I'm going to add into here as it dries out, is it, before I put the lid on there, is a, a little bit of molasses. Probably a couple of tablespoons of molasses just to give this microbes a little bit more food. And then I'm going to let it dry out. And once it gets to a nice dry powder, then I'll be able to use it. Now, as far as mixing it goes, I'm going to cover that into another video or not mixing, but just mixing it into your soil and the usage of it and, you know, how you want to apply it to your garden. We'll go over that in another video. But if you have any uh, questions, Gromies, leave those in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, smash it, uh, smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing to the channel. And again, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Have a blessed one. Peace.